This video is intended only to supplement the written installation instructions that accompanied your product, not to replace those installation instructions. The written installation instructions should be read and available to you before you attempt to install the product. If you have any questions about the instructions in this video, or are not comfortable performing the installation demonstrated, contact Manufacturer's Customer Service. Before you begin the installation of the slide-in gas range, refer to the installation manual for a list of recommended tools and parts you may need. The recessed cabinet opening will need to be 30 inches wide and 24 inches deep. The countertop height will need to be 36 inches. The electrical supply for the appliance must be 120 volts at 60 hertz. A dedicated circuit is recommended. The gas supply pipe must be equipped with a manual shutoff valve. If local codes permit, a half inch or three quarter inch flexible stainless steel supply line should be used to connect the gas pressure regulator to the rigid gas supply pipe. Warning, excessive weight hazard. Use two or more people to move and install range. Failure to do so can result in back or other injury. Open the oven door and remove the racks along with the anti-tip bracket. Confirm that the range matches the height of the countertop. You can adjust the leveling legs to raise or lower the range. To do this, have an assistant help you to gently tip the range back and rest the rear of the appliance on a blanket or on the cardboard packaging. Use an adjustable wrench or pliers to raise or lower the leveling legs as necessary. Return the range to its upright position setting the legs on a piece of cardboard so the appliance can be easily moved. Warning! Tip over hazard. A child or adult can tip the range and be killed. Install anti-tip bracket to floor or wall per installation instructions. Slide range back so rear range foot is engaged in the slot of the anti-tip bracket. Re-engage anti-tip bracket if range is moved. Do not operate range without anti-tip bracket installed and engaged. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death or serious burns to children and adults. The anti-tip bracket can be mounted to the wall or the floor. Using measuring tape, determine where the center of the recess wall opening is and mark it. Position the bracket so the V-notch is exactly 12 and a half inches to the left or right of the center line. Mark the appropriate bracket holes for floor or wall mounting. Using a 1 8 inch diameter drill bit, drill the holes where marked. Align the anti-tip bracket and use a Phillips head screwdriver to thread and tighten the provided screws to secure the bracket. Gently move the range close enough to its final location to allow for the gas and electrical connections. Then remove the cardboard from underneath the appliance. Warning! Explosion Hazard. Use a new CSA International Approved Gas Supply Line. Install a shutoff valve. Securely tighten all gas connections. If connected to LP, have a qualified person make sure gas pressure does not exceed 14 inches, 36 centimeters, water column. Examples of a qualified person include licensed heating personnel, authorized gas company personnel, and authorized service personnel. Failure to do so can result in death, explosion, or fire. Apply pipe joint compound to any non-flared adapter ends. Attach one adapter to the gas pressure regulator on the range. 
and the other adapter to the pipe with the gas shutoff valve. Use an adjustable wrench and channel lock pliers to tighten both adapters. Next, attach the flexible gas supply line to the adapters. All connections must be wrench tightened, but avoid over tightening. With the gas connection secured, check that the gas pressure regulator shutoff valve is in the on position and open the manual shutoff valve on the gas supply pipe. Test all of the connections by applying a non-corrosive leak detection solution. The solution will bubble if there is a leak. Any leaking connections should be corrected. You're now ready to position the burner bases, caps, and grates. Align each burner base with the appropriate orifice holder so the igniter electrode aligns with the notch in the base. Next, position the burner caps on the bases. Gently align the two burner grates on the cooktop. Warning! Electrical shock hazard. Plug into a grounded three-prong outlet. Do not remove ground prong. Do not use an adapter. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. Plug the range power cord into a grounded electrical outlet. Now gently push the range into its final location making sure the rear leg slides into the anti-tip bracket. To confirm this, place a foot against the baking drawer and grasping the back of the range, attempt to tilt the range forward. The bracket should immediately prevent the appliance from tipping forward. Next, place a level on the bottom panel of the oven to determine if the range is level from side to side and front to back. If the range is not level, pull the range forward until the rear leveling leg is free of the anti-tip bracket. Support the front or rear of the appliance with a wood block or a comparable sturdy object. Adjust one or more of the leveling legs to raise or lower the range as necessary. Confirm the range is level. Then push the appliance back into place, making sure the rear leg is secured in the anti-tip bracket. Now check the operation of the surface burners by turning each control knob to the ignite setting. The gas will normally ignite within four seconds, although this may take longer the first time a burner is lit because of air in the gas line. When the control knob is turned to the low setting, the steady blue flame should be approximately a quarter inch high. If necessary, you can adjust the height of the flame. With the burner set to low, remove the control knob and secure the burner valve stem with a pair of pliers. Using a 1 8 inch non-flared flathead screwdriver, rotate the adjustment screw inside the stem clockwise to decrease the flame height and counterclockwise to increase the height of the flame. With the burner flames properly adjusted, replace the control knob or knobs. To check the operation of the oven bake burner, use the Phillips set screwdriver to unthread the two rear screws, securing the bottom panel of the oven. Lift the rear of the panel up and push back to detach the panel. Press bake on the control pad, followed by start. 
The oven burner should light within eight seconds. The flame should be a half inch in length with an inner cone of bluish green. The outer mantle should be dark blue with no yellow tip and the flame should remain steady. If you need to adjust the flame, press cancel on the control pad and wait for the burner to cool down. Fully open the baking drawer and use a flathead screwdriver to gently detach the drawer from the alignment notch in each slide rail. Remove the drawer and set it aside. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws securing the burner access panel. Remove the panel. Locate the air shutter and use a quarter inch wrench to loosen the shutter screw. Open the shutter wider to allow more air into the burner tube to increase the size of the flame or narrow the shutter to restrict the air and reduce the flame size. Turn the oven back on to confirm the flame is properly adjusted. Once the flame is set, turn the oven off. Wait for the burner to cool down, then tighten the shutter screw. Realign the burner access panel and secure it with the screw. Replace the baking drawer by aligning it with the notches and clips on both slide rails and snap the drawer frame onto the rails. Confirm that the drawer can slide in and out freely. Reposition the bottom panel of the oven by inserting the front edge first. Thread and tighten the two rear screws to secure. To check the operation of the oven broil burner, press broil on the control pad, followed by start. The burner should light within eight seconds. Again, the flame should be a half inch in length, bluish green and steady. If you need to adjust the flame, press cancel on the control pad and wait for the burner to cool down. Use a quarter inch wrench to loosen the shutter screw. As with the bake burner, open the shutter wider to increase the size of the flame or narrow the shutter to reduce the flame size. When you've confirmed that the flame has been properly adjusted, tighten the shutter screw. Replace the racks in the oven and the gas range should be ready for use.